Hey Dumplings, welcome back. It's Michaela Murphy here. And I'm here to be doing a review and an unboxing of Drumroll, please. I will be reviewing and unboxing the NEO alcohol based markers. Whoa. <laughs> so let me like catch you up real quick on basically how I got these lovelies. Actually, I did not expect there was gonna be 80, which is so freaking crazy. Thank you, Enio, once again for freaking like <laughs> being amazing. Basically, Enio is a new art marker brand and they reached out to me to review their freaking marker set <laughs> and I'm so freaking like, like, okay, I'm so happy. Like, I don't know. If you know, but I'm genuinely like shaking a little <laughs> because I'm like, it's like, it's amazing being at this point where I can, you know, do something I love and I can review art markers and I love art markers. <laughs> Literally, I love art markers. I don't know if you guys ever seen my art marker collection, but uh, I have a lot, <laughs> way too much in fact. But regardless of that, I'm so, so very grateful for Enio for even reaching out to me. They're absolutely amazing for even wanting to do something like this with me. And like I said, so honored. As well as if you want to get your hands on Enio, I will be putting a link in the description down below as well in the pinned comment. Support me and as well as support Enio. Why not? You know, it's the best of both worlds. And especially if you're looking for art markers, which are pretty cheap and these are pretty cheap <laughs> but I will be putting an image on the screen right about now showing the different prices of uh, all the packs but I really recommend going to their site checking it for yourself seeing what you like so anyway I'm way too stoked let's open these bad boys up and see what's in store for us now I do want to just say going into this Enio literally just told me review it honestly and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to see how they do, how they work, and how they blend and if they're great. I watched little video clips of it here and there on YouTube. From what I seen it looks really really great. So yeah I don't know exactly what I'm getting myself into but I feel like it could be really really good. Oh that's so satisfying. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. All right, I did not expect this. They look actually really identical to her. Hold on. Um, firstly, we got a NEO. Oh, squashy. It's a squash. Hey, that's cool. I'm gonna put it to the side, but I really want to compare my Ahuhu brush markers to this set. Oh, whoa. Okay, so I finally got similar-ish markers. They're not exactly as similar. I should have got like a more lighter one, but I just really picked this out. So this is the Ohuhu's on my right hand, and then these are the Enio on my left. And Enio really looks like the Ohuhu's. Like they have the same similar topping, but this one is a bit more bigger. Enio is a bit more bigger than Ohuhu's. Putting them against each other, you can kind of see that. When I have the Ohuhu's in my hand, Ohuhu has like this a very shiny glossy finish so like gripping it is kind of like it's nice it's a really nice feeling but like Enio has a very matte feeling so it's very more a little bit more rougher to hold but I think it's like very nice like it's like you can get a kind of good grip on it this one it is a 67 past the blue this one is a PB9 cloud blue so the Enio <laughs> has a fine tip as well as alongside a chisel tip and this is pretty cool it reminds me of like the older who who said like the original ones but like with the new covering or look of the newer who's it's not gonna really roll off too much as it has a barrel that's stopping it from rolling off which is really cool as i did with my parkour's review if you want to check that video out you can check it right above here and um yeah First impressions, the cap, of course, like all alcohol-based markers, doesn't really match the color that it comes out with. 
but I like to think the reasoning for that is because it's so much ink so when it comes out it's usually still wet ink and since it's usually still wet ink that means it's still it's drying so the actual real color won't come out until it's finished drying and slowly looking like it's drying but it still doesn't really match the cap itself but you know regardless of that I still think it looks pretty cool it like the way I'm putting it on paper it feels really nice to hold especially using the chisel tip is also really nice as well it's just like it's just gripping it it's really nice unlike a little bit of the hoo, -hoo one thing I would prefer um, besides different color choices is the fact that because it's such a glossy finish it's a little bit more slippery now granted I didn't have a lot of more flip ups with it but when holding any of compared to my hooves which is a glossy finish I think I prefer gripping a little bit more with my any of granted now that's just preferences everyone has different preferences that's just my preference and I think it's time to do a little bit of squatching this squat sheet needs to be filled out and right about now whoa okay that's a cool edit <laughs> so I finally finished the squat sheet all these lovely vividly beautiful colors I love it look it's so beautiful but wow okay let me actually explain or even just talk a little bit about what I saw and what I kind of liked out of this set in particular compared to my hoo hoo. Now out of this set, one thing I also thought was really really neat and I don't even think it's that bad is the fact that it has a lot of yellows compared to a hoo hoo set or the Squatch. Because one of my downsides about the hoo hoo set was the fact that it didn't have a lot of yellows. Besides yellows, I think another one was browns and I just seen this set as well. It kind of has that hoo hoo treatment. It doesn't have a lot, a lot of browns and out of my set I do look for browns because I have OCs with more darker complexions so I usually scourge looking for you know more different variety of tones other than that all the colors are pretty much the colors I'm pretty much used to there was one that was very interesting of a name the color is called bronze on I thought that was so funny because I never like knew that was a name for a color I think this set is like really nice it's like similar to a who is for a cheap price they look pretty good kind of when you put them down they feel nice it grips nice now let's see if the blending test of it holds up okay the two colors i'm working with is 23 orange and 22 french vermilion they're kind of similar well not similar similar this one's a bit more darker but we're gonna test it out now i do want to say blending with like fine tip and stuff like that it is a little bit more tedious in my opinion I prefer the brush when it just when you put it on paper and you blend it out it's just way more easier in my opinion more so than a fine tip I do like the chisel nib I know a lot of people don't but I actually really do preferably over a fine tip to be honest with you and right now we are about to blend it so I'm gonna start with number 23 kind of how I like to do my blending and then after I will go with the more darker color of it which is 22 and we just layer it so far it doesn't really look like it's a crazy blend but the thing about blending is that you have to keep going back and forth and it's just like it's kind of how you kind of get the blend and whoa okay that blended really nicely what like oh my god that looks so nice like that blend like oh wow okay that's really pretty i like that wow okay so Ennio really impressed me with the blending i actually didn't expect that i thought it was going to be similar to a little bit of the parkour's i think in my opinion when if i wanted to compare a hose is still my main but compared to another set i also reviewed which is the parkour markers I absolutely still love. Just in my opinion, I, I prefer the blend of any a little bit more than the parkours. The parkours are nice and the blend is also really, like I said, nice. But I just think any compared to like how smooth a transition that was, I prefer just a little bit more. So this is going to be very interesting when like I'm coloring a piece. I'm super pumped a little bit now <laughs> because I did not expect that. So yeah, we're going to go and figure out what we're gonna draw I don't know what we're gonna draw but we're gonna draw something so I'll get back to you when I have something to draw <laughs> in color 
and inked but you know what i mean all right i also want to mention because like when i was swatching i didn't even realize i just thought they were just standing up like all the other markers that come in like a similar bag to this but any you'll actually put like i don't know you guys to see it but carts to hold it and so you can like take this card out of the bag if you want and then just have it as your stand and i thought that was so neat because i have yet to see like a marker in a, like a brand even a hoo's where they they come in like a little section so you can like sort it out and that's kind of what i did after i finished i sorted them all out by how they're numbered on the squatch but i just feel like this is a bit more easier and then like it's so cool you can like take it out and just kind of set it up and oh god i love that i, I really love that about any of any you're you're really surprising me like wow okay anyway that's enough i just wanted to cut in mention that because i didn't even realize that so for this drawing we are drawing my osinabi i don't <laughs> i don't know I, I just felt like it would be perfect to draw her given that she doesn't have like a lot of colors and it would be just easy and i thought let's draw my girl nabi which i've been really meaning to do a video for at least have her in a drawing but yeah so let's get it right into it may not know it's like feature me it's been a couple of days since i last recorded the others so yeah i'm also recording this a bit later so my voice sounds a little different it's okay it's we just we we do that here it's just gonna be how it is <laughs> from now on yeah anyway um i have finished the nobby drawing absolutely love a little bit of what i did I'm not gonna lie um the sketch mwah, the line art not so much, but I cleaned it up enough where it doesn't look as bad. And then the coloring, surprisingly enough, actually doesn't look that bad, which I am very happy about because I I really suck at coloring traditionally, like really bad. And I can do like all these like crazy other little things to make it pop as much as my digital, but I'm finding my own way in the way I like to color, my process and just all this other stuff when I'm doing it traditionally. Now, I don't know if I stated who this is because these clips are cut up in like a weird way, but this is my OC Navi. I drawn her a few times, not necessarily a video related wrong of her, I don't think. I think I posted her a lot of my community posts, Instagram, and also I tried to make her hair like as close as possible to her digital. It is a little bit on a very more purple-ish side, the closest I could get. 
her skin color is a little bit more tanner but it's not that bad i actually really like that um giving her character and all this other stuff and i do want to mention neo absolutely surprised me they had a lot of really really nice colors there were a couple times too actually where i did use in a hoo hoo to shade but other than that a lot of this piece all in neo and i am very whoa about i really love the way her skirt came out, looks really nice, and I also really like the way her stockings came out, like the rip in it, because <laughs> she's a very rambunctious girl. And um, I don't know, I just, I, I think it's so cute. I also really like how the color of her hair came out. I had to use, and this is like where I had to use like a different shade, and like I used like this hellish dark blue, and I kind of tried to blend it to give off like a shade or like it's it doesn't look so harsh and um i think it actually turned out really nice it kind of looks cool yeah i i think i got out a lot of what i really want to say i really really want to just say thank you again enio for freaking i don't know <laughs> like sponsoring me like sorta. it's not really a sponsor like but you know just like giving me the chance to review your amazing product is amazing. I love alcohol based markers. So like I don't always have like too much of a negative pet peeve about it. Besides things that I already know about alcohol based markers or just brands in general. I'm pretty happy. By the way, if you want to get your honorary hands, let's go with it. It flows on these bad buns. Click the link down below. Support me and support any of you know what I mean? And see what else Enio offers it would be amazing if you just go and check and you know we have now reached the end of this video if you guys enjoyed the video because it would like it's always a bit of helpful and why not subscribe to the mofu nation where you become a mofu because right now you're buns so hitting that subscribe button you instantaneously that I don't even know that's a word <laughs> you instantly become a mofu anyway I guess I'll see you guys later Stay mofo and mofos.